The federal public health emergency for COVID-19 officially ends today. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services made that decision based on the decline in cases and other trends. So what does that mean? Well, for one thing, it changes how you can access vaccines and free testing. Alex Love joins us in the studio with more from Monroe County's Health Commissioner. Alex. That's right, Teresa. Since the beginning of this year, thankfully, positive coronavirus cases in Monroe County and all over the Finger Lakes region have been consistently dropping to one of the lowest points they've ever been during the pandemic. Dr. Michael Mendoza agrees it's time to move forward. Because of positive COVID-19 cases nationwide in a downward trend, according to the Department of Health and Human Services, May 11th is the last day the federal public health emergency will be enacted. Dr. Mendoza of Monroe County Department of Health believes it's the right call. Uh, the local numbers have been very reassuring. Uh, we are not uh, seeing any major impact of COVID in the hospitals uh, any longer. Uh, and I think in many ways it's time for all of us to get back to that new normal. With the emergency expiring, private insurance companies will no longer be required to cover COVID tests without cost sharing. Those who don't have insurance will also have to pay out of pocket for tests and treatments unless you're on Medicaid, which offers coverage until September of 2024. People who had enjoyed the ability to automatically re-enroll with uh, Medicaid, for example, will no longer have that uh, option because the public health emergency is now ending. We still have a limited amount of vaccine. What is now going to be different is that we're going to charge insurance and uh, hopefully we'll get reimbursement. But if uh, we don't, then those costs may be passed along to the uh, individual. As long as the Monroe County Health Department supply of federally purchased vaccines lasts, patients will not have to pay for them. Going forward, Dr. Mendoza urges everyone to remember COVID is not gone for good and can still harm the elderly or those deemed immunocompromised. The reality is, you know, life expectancy has declined in the United States for three years in a row. Uh, and we're not yet back to pre-pandemic levels, unlike other countries around the world who have gotten back to pre-pandemic levels with regard to life expectancy in the wake of COVID. So there's a lot that we still need to learn and uh, heal from uh, COVID. At the beginning of this year, the seven-day average of positive coronavirus cases for Monroe County and the entire Finger Lakes region was almost 160 cases. But to highlight the progress made now, as of yesterday, that number now sits at just 27 positive cases daily. 